In 1970, the U.S. federal government passed the Controlled Substances Act, classifying marijuana as a Schedule I drug, just like heroin. This designates the drug as having a high potential for abuse with no medicinal value. But not everyone agrees. Oakland resident Juliet Hopper works as a management consultant. For the past 10 years, she's battled both cervical cancer and fibromyalgia, a condition that causes intense pain in her muscles and bones. From my neck all the way down, I'm in a lot of pain. The best way I can describe um, an FM flare-up, which is what I'm dealing with right now, is someone taking a baseball bat to your major joints and just hitting you as hard as they can for hours. And that's the pain that you're dealing with. It's unending nerve pain. While living in Ohio, Juliet took a large number of pain medications that slowly destroyed her liver and kidneys. Even though Ohio prohibits medical marijuana, her physician privately recommended she try it. I've been using a measuring spoon to kind of create a diary of what works best for my pain management and my symptoms. Marijuana contains a complex mixture of more than 60 unique active compounds known as cannabinoids. The two most abundant are tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC, and cannabidiol, or CBD. When ingested, the compounds attach themselves to cannabinoid receptors, the molecules that affect neural signals in the parts of the brain govern memory, anxiety, appetite, coordination, and pain. Hi. Juliet uses a vaporizer to consume her medical marijuana. It heats up the uh, cannabinoids enough to be able to release the medicine as a vapor, but it doesn't get hot enough to where it's combusting the plant, which is usually the biggest problem that most people have with utilizing cannabis as a medicine, is that they see that combustion is putting tars and, and carcinogens into your body. Initially, Juliet was wary of consuming an illegal drug. I was the Reaganistic child of just say no, don't do drugs. Oh my God, cannabis will lead you to heroin. I think one of the biggest battles that any cannabis patient has is because we still feel guilty. Society tells us that we're doing something horrible. 